Hey everybody, it's Justin here and playing Marvel's Bite. Uh, last time we played the piggies and I have to say, I enjoy playing the piggies. I want to try it one more time. So let's get into this thing. I feel like if I play the pigs, I have, I, I, you know, okay, here, I'm gonna put it this way. Last night before I went to bed, I was thinking about how I want to play this again. And I was up, I, I literally was laying awake for hours thinking about how I could win this game as the pigs. And I, I kind of want to do this again. My, my thoughts and ideas is that as the pigs, I want to ruin the quality of the wolf spite by also making sure I have a high reputation so that I don't get run out of town. And I feel, I feel like in order to bring myself up as a higher reputation, I need to be like super badass, right? I need to go drinking. I need to hang out with porkers. I need to really, really just destroy the wolf and his quality of his food. Because it's the quality of the food that's really going to ruin it for him. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work in the restaurant. You spend the day working in the restaurant, trying to bring it down from within. The new hiring manager was thrilled to be able to fill three open spots so quickly. From messing up to orders to dropping the trays of food on patrons, insert each customer's first visit to the little spite was also their last. Poor hiring manager had no idea what she was getting into. All right, so you got one quality out of here. Being obnoxious and getting a few patrons is okay. But what we really do is a good old-fashioned brawl. All right, so this is something I have been seeing quite a lot. And uh, I know throwing a cherry pie doesn't work. I know throwing the raw steak doesn't work. So I'm gonna throw a tankard of ale at the Three Musketeers. I say, lads, ale on our tunics. Why, this must be the work of dwarves. Look over there, seven little bastards. Little, who are you calling little? Are you having a giggle there, mate? You want to scrap? Everyone get in here. The brawl started out pretty good with a few chairs and tables being broken. Then things got really crazy when D'Artagnan kicked a member of the Gumdrop Guild in the face with thinking the Munchkin was a dwarf too, drawing even more people into the bedlam. Look at that. Two wealth and two lost quality. Boom, Wolf. You're ruined. All right, Wolf, what are you going to do? See? Oh, he's going to lobby? What are you going to lobby for? Oh, I've never seen this. Small businesses like the Wolf Spite are the backbone of the thriving community and its economy. Look at this lion! I love his face. He's really wrapped in attention. You spend the day using your charm, political savvy, networking your city council members and the mayor himself. You may not impact legislation, but it might snag you a few more catering gigs. Wolf gained one reputation and one quality. Mm. To the excitement of the entire town, the emperor has arrived for his annual visit, fully clothed this time, of course. Being the avid foodie, he demanded a sample of the finest cuisine. You graciously volunteer your best dish to analyze, but what do you serve a man with such discerning tastes? Spaghetti bolognese. It was a wise choice sticking to what you know best. The meal goes off without a single hitch. Afterward, the emperor personally thanks you with a lovely, if slightly predictable, dining experience. Oh. You got some reputation there, but it wasn't the best. All right, Gus Fiore has caught one of the intriguing surrounding the wolf's bite and would like to feature it on his show, Restaurants, Taverns, and Bars. Will the episode be about redemption or revenge? Only time will tell. All right, uh, so his reputation is going up, but we really just want to stick it to his quality. Like, really stick it to his quality. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go over here. Let's train in food sabotage. Well, yeah, food sabotage. Let's do that. He spent the day learning how to ruin food with subtle ingredient swats and sneaky tricks. Now you just need to find a way into the kitchen. The little spite loses one quality. Bam! Giuseppe is offering a lecture on advanced pantry and fridge management. Fellow restaurateurs, your pantry is fuel of your kitchen, which is the engine of your restaurant. Your ability to serve delicious food and ultimately make money depends on your pantry and fridge. What are the most important elements of a pantry and fridge and what goes in it? Most importantly, what are the three items that must always be well stocked in your pantry and fridge in order to remain, remain open? This is what we shall review today. How can this constructive advice be applied to sabotage? Kitchen impossible. I don't know what that is. Eat some of the things, eat all of the things. Hmm. I don't know what all this is. Um, I'm gonna eat some of the things. A precisely time supply chain disruption could put the wolf out of business for a few days, and now we know which supplies to target. This more thoughtful approach not only hits the wolf in his wallet, but also interrupts meal service for the evening. Oh, dude. That's right. Look at all oh, we're, we're going to bankrupt this wolf. Dude, I'm so happy. All right, wolf. Get it. Oh, what are you going to do down here? Cooking classes for adults. Eh. 
Mm, malnourishment is the key element that perpetuates or perpetuates, excuse me, this vicious cycle of poverty. By teaching people how to cook nutritious and affordable meals, you can break the cycle and empower people to improve their lot in life. Gain one quality. All right, an abandoned factory appears to be leaking a mysterious glowing ooze from barrels in the lower levels. Oh shit, are we gonna get Ninja Turtles? Nobody seems to care about it because it only affects the bad side of town. Preliminary tests indicate it is non-toxic if heated, but in a raw state, it causes hallucinations if consumed through tap water. As a former resident, you are concerned. How do you want to address this issue? Take the fluid and cook it? Donate a water purifier and clean up the site? Allowing the leak to persist and affect the residents on the bad side of town is unconscionable. You're the only person who has resources and will to fund this project. You there, call the press. I'm feeling philanthropic. All right, dude, you're gonna, uh... He's kind of running out of money. Turns out the wolf's bite wasn't just blowing hot air. When we talked about his new restaurant, the wolf's bite early reviews from local diners have been positive. Okay, he's earning way too much rep. We gotta slow this thing down, right? So we need to bring up our own rep ourselves. So let's go to the bad side of town as well. And let's kick it with the west side porkers. The porkers have a sweet monopoly in the local underground candy market. The secret to their success is extra sugar, which makes things good, which makes their goods extra potent and addictive. Since candy is cheap and high in calories, it's easy to ruin people's dinners. This means less going out to the wolf's restaurant and his stupid cooking classes. All right, we got two wealth from that. Sergey has discovered a way to make an almost unbreakable cement-like substance for with flour and water. To think, people use the stuff to fry fishes, losers. Since it's food-based, people have to blame the wolf. Thus, it's a perfect plan. All you have to do is apply it liberally to the right places. Uh, black storm drains. That's devious. Make a bunch of speed bumps. Or make a vulgar sculpture. Let's block the storm drains. That is like a long-term thing, right? If every storm drain is blocked and it's full of flour and water, they're definitely going to blame the wolf. You pack the bad side of town storm drains, making a watertight seal and ensuring flooding the next time it rains. Fortunately for the townsfolk, someone noticed before they... Aw, why would Muffin Man try to flood us out? Looks like you framed the wrong innocent man. Aw, damn it. I could have sworn that would have been it. Are you going to chill at the lake? Dude, I haven't seen this before. Oh, running a restaurant extremely stressful. Far more stressful than residential demolition was. A bit of relax, rest and relaxation is what's needed for much deserved. The rest lifts your spirits and fortifies your charming demeanor. Oh, oh damn it, his reputation just keeps going up. Hey, Wolf, come here. Listen, us garials are sick of false garials rubbing our bulbous noses in the ground with their superior crocodile heritage. We're going to fight them and kick them out of the lake. We need your help to claim this as true garials. I don't know what that is. All right, will you help us beat the false Let's get dangerous or no, I'm a chef. Your fighting days are behind you and your risk of injury is too high. If something happens to you, who will run the restaurant? It's not like you can just take a month to recuperate. No effect. Oh man, his reputation is going crazy. Word is spreading about the cuisinary, or cuisinary, cuisinary. I don't know why I have such a hard time saying that. Visionary at the Wolf's Bite. The new recipe is being introduced of the day. There seems to be no end to the Wolf's Bite's culinary cunning. Just three days into his career, he's already has one of the hottest restaurants in the kingdom. Damn it. All right, we really got to stop this. Let's go to the grocery store. Let's offer a smear campaign. All right, the store gets a ton of food traffic. A perfect audience for a smear campaign against the Wolf's Bite. Pamphlets and pickets are the weapons in the battle for public sentiment, and you wield them with great effect. Wolf Bite loses one quality. The wolf's primary supplier is on vacation, meaning the wolf has to use the grocery store in order to keep his pantry stock. This creates a weakness we can exploit while innocently stocking up ourselves. If we buy out one or more key ingredients, the wolf will be left in the lurch. Which do we purchase? Buy out the salt, buy out the herbs, buy out the meats. Hmm. I feel like the salt. No chef in the world is skilled enough to hide a lack of salt. It is cheap enough to buy and integral to vi virtually every ingredient dish. The only salt in the restaurant today is going to be the wolf's tears. Oh, dude. That wolf is losing so much quality. That's right, Wolfie. What you gonna do? Acquire magical ingredients. What? The witch has lived on these lands for a long time. She knows its secrets. Of course, these secrets come at a cost. In exchange for running errands and questing for the witch, you receive several pouches of magic herbs and vials and mystical potions. Looks like she charges extra for these instructions, though. Oh, you gain two quality but lose two health? Damn. 
which always enjoys a bit of spell casting, has offered to cast a teensy weensy tiny love spell on your customers. The spell should make them go mad for your lasagna. Not enough to really make a difference, just push a little in the right direction. So what if messing with your patrons' feelings is a bit unethical? You'll only get in trouble if you get caught, she cackles with a wink. Do you fall for the rabbit hole, or should you stay clean and gain customers in the normal way? You're going to politely decline. Screwing with human and animal emotion isn't your cup of tea. You won't serve the top of the lasagna game anytime soon, but you'll be able to sleep at night. Ah, <sighs> you should feel good about yourself, you wonderful humanitarian. Nothing happened. Oh, camera crew spotted near the wolf's bite. Witnesses report Gus Fieri's camera crew was seen near the wolf's bite yesterday, scouting for good angles and recruiting potential interviewees. The buzz over Gus's appearance at the end of this week was renewed and strengthened by the presence of its crew. Hmm. All right, so we have two more days. We need to get our rep up. We really need to get a rep up. Let's go uh, at the barn and let's get drunk. I mean, we got to get a reputation, right? Maybe some neg working over cocktails may help us find someone else who hates the wolf. If not, a little drunken carousing never hurt anyone. Nobody parties like a pig party. If we get sick and vomit, we can blame the cooking the wolf's bite. That's right. You lost that reputation. Since the wolf occasionally attends bar, it behooves us to find ways to sabotage the barn, either by running, ruining its shift or doing enough damage to force it to close for a few days. Frequent clubber, clubber Rapunzel, I like how she clubs, could be a perfect unknowing partner in crime. We just need to get her going. What's our play here? Glow sticks at Techno Night, jump in the mosh pit at Rock Night, line dancing at Country Music Night. Um, she likes to club. Let me use glow sticks. The go-to accessory for high energy dancing if you want to keep your hands busy and not much else. Rapunzel loved the glow sticks and dance all night, but the worst she did was hypnotize a few patients with her rhythmic stick movements. Oh, damn it. Oh, well, at least the wolf is like losing money. All right, it's cooking class. It's time for the wolf again. Malnourishment is key. So we've already seen this one. So we're gonna kind of go through it really quickly. Quality's going back up again. During an evening walk, you notice a weasel hanging out under a street light. You walk by, originally planning to ignore him. Hey, wolf, wanna buy some spices? They're extra potent and extra cheap. I'll give you a free sample. Try the sample. Try the sample, wolf. Look at him, buying some sansal. Oh, wow, no need for a sample, eh? Oh, okay, I have pow pow paprika, screaming cinnamon, and uncut black sugar. You can't even get that stuff retail. Given the rarity of the price, you'll make the purchase. Okay, let's shake on it. You know, a little legitimate businessman. You shake paws and walk off, smelling the potent spices. You were halfway home before you noticed your witch watch was missing. What a weasel! Dude, three quality? No! My plan! <sighs> okay, we really need to get his quality back down. Let's go work um, in the restaurant. We're gonna, we're gonna really take it down. So we're just gonna quickly go through this because we already read this before. All right. Poor hiring manager. Apparently Wolf Bite has food license and a liquor license, but not a dancing license. This could be a fun way to take the wolf down a few pegs. Just need the right tune. All right, so we've also seen this before. Sweet Rapunzel did not do it. Save a steed, ride a lancer, or hey indeed. Let's try to save a steed. I don't know what that is. Trot up down the fairway. The maidens never look so lovely from the trusty charger prancer they exult. Save a steed, ride a lancer. Unfortunately, a few yeehaws and some nodding heads. Ah, oh. Dang. I'm trying to get rid of this wolf's quality. He's got so much rep and he has two and a half stars. Or two and a third, I guess. Oh. All right. So now we're starting to learn what, like, we're starting to get ideas of what's good and what's bad. I feel like for the pigs, it's very hard because you have to remember the choices. And we still have, we're still, we're seeing new choices that we've never seen before. Anyways, we spend the day training on the watchful eye of Pierre Cipriani. With his expert tutelage and rigorous instruction, your cooking knowledge and culinary technique grow. God, another quality. God dang it. The famous interior designer Jack Le Bon, bon, Le bon, bon is putting on a workshop at the Colonial Institute of Restaurant Aesthetics. After a rigorous all-day session, Jax reveals the final design challenge. Remember, students, what is seen is just as important as what is not seen. Let's clean design principles guide you. Which motif do you employ? Post, post, modern chic? My god. Oh, this will just not do. It's like you're sitting here for the entire class and decide to do the opposite of my curriculum. Is this a joke? Are you trying to stress me out and give me wrinkles? I'd rather eat a barn. Intolerable. Get out of my class. Oh, ho, 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 ho. you lost it, wolf. All right. Oh, this is the last day. Crap. We got to make it count. 
Uh, we gotta make it count. We gotta make it count. Must be guests. We gotta make it count. You spend the day eating in the restaurant, being as much of a nuisance as possible. You order things that you're in, that are not on the menu and send it back every order at least once. Intentionally spilling drinks and disrupt other meals. You're the only ones in the restaurant by the end of the night. That's right. Lose that quality. If there's one thing nobody ever wants to find in their food, it's a bug. The only thing worse than a bug in a restaurant is an entire jar of bugs in a restaurant. Getting these bugs was easy. Smuggling the jars was easy. Using the bugs to ruin the wolf's bike. Now that's tricky. So release the bugs in the dining room during dinner. Release the bugs in the dining room before opening. Release the bugs in the kitchen. I mean, if people don't see it... Let's do it before opening. This must be some sort of experimental dining experiment where we simulate panic in a cave with lots of creepy crawlies. Surely that's where, that's why there are bugs in a place that serves food. That wolf, uh, ever the, um, in in every, what? The wolf gained a reputation for having bugs in his diner? What? He's not an innovator. I was trying to ruin it. God, this wolf, his, his rep is too high. Domesticated wolves are the original watchdogs. While crime is generally rare in the city, the citizens can sleep a little more soundly, knowing you are standing vigilant, protecting them. Wolf Games one rep. Your nephew Sean and Sean are starting a real estate consulting business and are looking for your help to getting started. Well, as an entrepreneur myself, I certainly can't say no. The premise of this business is to learn what the homeowner is into and then make the house a manifestation of that passion. Okay, Uncle Wolfie, you tell us what you're most passionate about and we'll transform your house. No charge. We just need to get a celebrity endorsement. Art. You don't like cooking? You don't like cooking at all? You tell your cousins your passion is art and they go to work. Your home is transformed into a blender of modern and renaissance art. Uh, on the eastern half of the house, amphora shapes wrought from iron and glass. On the west side, a massive fresco entitled The Creation of Wolfie. While you enjoy the mix and new of your your old while you enjoy the mix of the new and old, your neighbors hate it and think it's ugly. There you go. You got an ugly house, sir. Alright, stars among slop. Gus Fiore came expecting a rising culinary star and found three little ones instead. Impressed by the pig's ability to come back from having two-thirds of the real estate portfolio leveled, Gus Fiore decided to feature the brothers and their tactics expiring as a warning to aspiring restaurateurs everywhere. Look at that! What? This is whole new! <gasps> what? The wolf's in jail! The pigs, through their mischief and chicory, were able to scrimp and save a small fortune. All was slowly bleeding the wolf dry. We certainly did. The cap between the wolf and the pigs actually grew so wide the pigs decided to buy out the wolf's bite. The first step of their ultimate revenge. The wolf was kept on staff, but he was delegated to washing dishes. The restaurant was also rebranded the feeding trough and switched from a single plate delicacies to an all-you-can-eat buffet, further demoralizing, demoralizing the wolf. <laughs> the wolf at the end of his rope was nothing to lose finally snapped. He huffed and puffed, and he blew the restaurant down. Surveying the wreckage, his dream in the heap of splinters, he heard hoofs behind him. How does it feel to have been art smarted and made to destroy your precious restaurant? This is even better than destroying ourselves because now we collect the insurance money and you have to go to jail. Sergei said menacing from the shadows, cell phone in hand. The downtrodden wolves sat shell-shocked and waited for the police while Sergei walked away laughing. Dude, I'm, I have to say, Staying up at night, thinking about how I was going to bring the wolf down. It worked. If you guys have a plan, just stay up half the night and thinking about what you're going to do. Honestly, I'm surprised. I thought I was going to lose. He definitely bled the wolf dry. But his reputation was high and his quality was high too. So I didn't... There, there's so many factors to this game I didn't even think about. Anyways, if you guys like this, let me know. Let me know your thoughts and if I should try the wolf again. Um, be sure to tune in. I might play more of this uh, later throughout the week. Uh, if you still like it, please like, favorite, and comment. Please be sure to subscribe because it really helps me out. I'll see you guys next time. 